In chemistry, hydronium is the common name for the aqueous cation H3O+, the type of oxonium ion produced by protonation of water. It is the positive ion present when an Arrhenius acid is dissolved in water, as Arrhenius acid molecules in solution give up a proton a positive hydrogen ion, H+, to the surrounding water molecules H2O. Determination of pH The ratio of hydronium ions to hydroxide ions determines a solution's pH. The molecules in pure water auto dissociate, i.e., react with each other into hydronium and hydroxide ions in the following equilibrium 2H2O plus H3O plus in pure water, there is an equal number of hydroxide and hydronium ions, so it is a neutral solution. At 25 degrees Celsius, water has a pH of 7 this varies when the temperature changes, see self-ionization of water. A pH value less than 7 indicates an acidic solution, and a pH value more than 7 indicates a basic solution. <laughs> Nomenclature According to IUPAC nomenclature of organic chemistry, the hydronium ion should be referred to as oxonium. Hydroxonium may also be used unambiguously to identify it. A draft IUPAC proposal also recommends the use of oxonium and oxidanium in organic and inorganic chemistry contexts, respectively. An oxonium ion is any ion with a trivalent oxygen cation. For example, a protonated hydroxyl group is an oxonium ion, but not a hydronium ion. Structure Since O plus and N have the same number of electrons, H3O plus is isoelectronic with ammonia. As shown in the images above, H3O plus has a trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry with the oxygen atom at its apex. The HOH bond angle is approximately 113 degrees, and the center of mass is very close to the oxygen atom. Because the base of the pyramid is made up of three identical hydrogen atoms, the H3O plus molecule's symmetric top configuration is such that it belongs to the C3V point group. Because of this symmetry and the fact that it has a dipole moment, the rotational selection rules are delta J. Topic: <laughs> plus or minus one and delta K. Zero. The transition dipole lies along the c-axis, and because the negative charge is localized near the oxygen atom, the dipole moment points to the apex, perpendicular to the base plane. Topic. Acids and acidity Hydronium is the cation that forms from water in the presence of hydrogen ions. These hydrons do not exist in a free state, they are extremely reactive and are solvated by water. An acidic solute is generally the source of the hydrons, however, hydroniums exist even in pure water. This special case of water reacting with water to produce hydronium and hydroxide ions is commonly known as the self-ionization of water. The resulting hydronium ions are few and short-lived. pH is a measure of the relative activity of hydronium and hydroxide ions in aqueous solutions. In acidic solutions, hydronium is the more active, its excess proton being readily available for reaction with basic species. The hydronium ion is very acidic, at 25 degrees Celsius, its pKa is zero. It is the most acidic species that can exist in water assuming sufficient water for dissolution, any stronger acid will ionize and protonate a water molecule to form hydronium. The acidity of hydronium is the implicit standard used to judge the strength of an acid in water. Strong acids must be better proton donors than hydronium, otherwise a significant portion of acid will exist in a non-ionized state, i.e., a weak acid. Unlike hydronium in neutral solutions that result from water's autodissociation, hydronium ions in acidic solutions are long-lasting and concentrated in proportion to the strength of the dissolved acid. pH was originally conceived to be a measure of the hydrogen ion concentration of aqueous solution. We now know that virtually all such free protons quickly react with water to form hydronium. Acidity of an aqueous solution is therefore more accurately characterized by its hydronium concentration. 
In organic syntheses, such as acid-catalyzed reactions, the hydronium ion H3O+ can be used interchangeably with the H ion, choosing one over the other has no significant effect on the mechanism of reaction. Solvation Researchers have yet to fully characterize the solvation of hydronium ion in water, in part because many different meanings of solvation exist. A freezing point depression study determined that the mean hydration ion in cold water is approximately H3O plus H2O 6. On average, each hydronium ion is solvated by six water molecules which are unable to solvate other solute molecules. Some hydration structures are quite large. The H3O plus H2O 20 magic ion number structure, called magic because of its increased stability with respect to hydration structures involving a comparable number of water molecules. This is a similar usage of the word magic as in nuclear physics, might place the hydronium inside a dodecahedral cage. However, more recent ab initio method molecular dynamics simulations have shown that, on average, the hydrated proton resides on the surface of the H3O plus H2O 20 cluster. Further, several disparate features of these simulations agree with their experimental counterparts suggesting an alternative interpretation of the experimental results. Two other well-known structures are the Zundel cation and the Eigen cation. The eigen solvation structure has the hydronium ion at the center of an H9O plus 4 complex in which the hydronium is strongly hydrogen bonded to three neighboring water molecules. In the Zundel H5O plus 2 complex the proton is shared equally by two water molecules in a symmetric hydrogen bond. Recent work indicates that both of these complexes represent ideal structures in a more general hydrogen bond network defect. Isolation of the hydronium ion monomer in liquid phase was achieved in a nonaqueous, low nucleophilicity superacid solution (HF antimony 5 fluoride SO2). The ion was characterized by high resolution 17O nuclear magnetic resonance. A 2007 calculation of the enthalpies and free energies of the various hydrogen bonds around the hydronium cation in liquid protonated water at room temperature and a study of the proton hopping mechanism using molecular dynamics showed that the hydrogen bonds around the hydronium ion formed with the three water ligands in the first solvation shell of the hydronium are quite strong compared to those of bulk water. A new model was proposed by Stoyanov based on infrared spectroscopy in which the proton exists as an H13O plus 6 ion. The positive charge is thus delocalized over six water molecules. <laughs> Solid hydronium salts For many strong acids, it is possible to form crystals of their hydronium salt that are relatively stable. These salts are sometimes called acid monohydrates. As a rule, any acid with an ionization constant of 109 or higher may do this. Acids whose ionization constant is below 109 generally cannot form stable H3O plus salts. For example, hydrochloric acid has an ionization constant of 107, and mixtures with water at all proportions are liquid at room temperature. However, perchloric acid has an ionization constant of 1010, and if liquid anhydrous perchloric acid and water are combined in a 1 to 1 molar ratio, they react to form solid hydronium perchlorate H3O ClO The hydronium ion also forms stable compounds with the carborane superacid H cb 5 bridge 6 X-ray crystallography shows a C3V symmetry for the hydronium ion with each proton interacting with a bromine atom each from three carborane anions 320 pm apart on average. The H3O H Cb11 hydrogen chloride salt is also soluble in benzene. In crystals grown from a benzene solution the solvent co-crystallizes and a H3O benzene 3 cation is completely separated from the anion. In the cation three benzene molecules surround hydronium forming pi cation interactions with the hydrogen atoms. The closest approach of the anion at chlorine to the cation at oxygen is 348 pm. There are also many examples of hydrated hydronium ions known, such as the H5O plus 2 ion in HCl2H2O, the H7O plus 3 and H9O plus 4 ions both found in HBr4H2O. Hmm. 
Topic: <laughs> Interstellar H3O+. Hydronium is an abundant molecular ion in the interstellar medium and is found in diffuse and dense molecular clouds as well as the plasma tails of comets. Interstellar sources of hydronium observations include the regions of Sagittarius B2, Orion OMC1, Orion BNIRC2, Orion KL, and the comet Hale-Bopp. Interstellar hydronium is formed by a chain of reactions started by the ionization of H2 into H2 by cosmic radiation. H3O plus can produce either O- or H2O through dissociative recombination reactions, which occur very quickly even at the low 10 K temperatures of dense clouds. This leads to hydronium playing a very important role in interstellar ion neutral chemistry. Astronomers are especially interested in determining the abundance of water in various interstellar climates due to its key role in the cooling of dense molecular gases through radiative processes. However, H2O does not have many favorable transitions for ground-based observations. Although observations of HDO the deuterated version of water could potentially be used for estimating H2O abundances, the ratio of HDO to H2O is not known very accurately. Hydronium, on the other hand, has several transitions that make it a superior candidate for detection and identification in a variety of situations. This information has been used in conjunction with laboratory measurements of the branching ratios of the various H3O plus dissociative recombination reactions to provide what are believed to be relatively accurate O- and H2O abundances without requiring direct observation of these species. Interstellar chemistry As mentioned previously, H3O plus is found in both diffuse and dense molecular clouds. By applying the reaction rate constants alpha, beta, and gamma corresponding to all of the currently available characterized reactions involving H3O plus, it is possible to calculate K -t for each of these reactions. By multiplying these K -t by the relative abundances of the products, the relative rates in cc per second for each reaction at a given temperature can be determined. These relative rates can be made in absolute rates by multiplying them by the H2 2. By assuming T. Topic 10K for a dense cloud and T. 50K for a diffuse cloud. The results indicate that most dominant formation and destruction mechanisms were the same for both cases. It should be mentioned that the relative abundances used in these calculations correspond to TMC1, a dense molecular cloud, and that the calculated relative rates are therefore expected to be more accurate at T equals 10K. The three fastest formation and destruction mechanisms are listed in the table below, along with their relative rates. Note that the rates of these six reactions are such that they make up approximately 99% of hydronium ions chemical interactions under these conditions. Finally, it should also be noted that all three destruction mechanisms in the table below are classified as dissociative recombination reactions. It is also worth noting that the relative rates for the formation reactions in the table above are the same for a given reaction at both temperatures. This is due to the reaction rate constants for these reactions having beta and gamma constants of zero, resulting in K equals alpha which is independent of temperature. Since all three of these reactions produce either H2O or O, these results reinforce the strong connection between their relative abundances and that of H3O+. The rates of these six reactions are such that they make up approximately 99% of hydronium ions chemical interactions under these conditions. <laughs> Astronomical detections As early as 1973 and before the first interstellar detection, chemical models of the interstellar medium the first corresponding to a dense cloud predicted that hydronium was an abundant molecular ion and that it played an important role in ion-neutral chemistry. However, before an astronomical search could be underway there was still the matter of determining hydronium spectroscopic features in the gas phase, which at this point were unknown. The first studies of these characteristics came in 1977, which was followed by other, higher resolution spectroscopy experiments. Once several lines had been identified in the laboratory, the first interstellar detection of H3O was made by two groups almost simultaneously in 1986. 
The first, published in June 1986, reported observation of the JVTK equals 1 minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 transition at 307,192.41 MHz in OMC1 and SGRB2. The second, published in August, reported observation of the same transition toward the Orion KL nebula. These first detections have been followed by observations of a number of additional H3O plus transitions. The first observations of each subsequent transition detection are given below in chronological order. In 1991, the 3 2 2 transition at 364,797.427 MHz was observed in OMC1 and SGRB2. One year later, the 3 plus 0 minus 2 minus 0 transition at 396,272.412 MHz was observed in several regions, the clearest of which was the W3 IRS5 cloud. The first FAR IR4 minus 3 minus 3 plus 3 transition at 69.524 micrometers was made in 1996 near Orion BNIRC2. In 2001, three additional transitions of H3O plus in were observed in the far infrared in SGRB2, 2 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 transition at 100.577 micrometers, 2.98073 terahertz, 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 at 181.054 micrometers, 1.65582 terahertz, and 2 minus 0 minus 1 plus 0 at 100.869 micrometers 2.9721 terahertz topic see also hydrogen hydrogen cation hydride hydrogen anion hydrogen ion growth this mechanism trifluorooxonium law of dilution